competition. When Darwin spoke of the struggle for existence and survival of the fittest in nature, he was convinced that interspecific competition is a potent force in the process of organic evolution involving natural selection. It is generally believed that the competition occurs when closely related species compete for the same resources that are limited, but this is not entirely true. Among these, uh, one, uh, the method of competition we are going, competition among unrelated species. Firstly, unrelated species could also compete for the same resource like interspecific competition. For instance, in some shallow South American lakes visiting flamingos, these are the flamingos in uh, shallow in sa shallow South American lakes visiting flamingos and uh, resident fishes, the local fishes, compete for their common food. Common food is the jew plankton. Common food is the jew plankton, like uh, cladocerans, copy pots, roti fish. It is all said to be the common food of uh, both flamingos uh, as well as uh, fishes. Secondly, resources need not to be limiting for competition to occur. In interspecific competition, interference competition, the feeding efficiency of one species might be reduced due to interfering and inhibitory presence of other species. Even resources like food and uh, space are abundant. Therefore, competition is best defined as a process in which the fitness of one species measured in terms of its R, the intrinsic rate of increase. Fitness of one species is significantly lower in the presence of uh, another species. That's it. The, in the case, uh, the fishes are coming for extinction here. The fishes uh, Fishes uh, population is getting reduced because of the non-local flamingos when they are introduced into the population. The interesting thing here that uh, Jew plankton population which is the food for both flamingos and uh, fishes is equal and abundant uh, food is there but even that interference competition of the fishes leads to the reducing the fishes population and uh, because of this uh, flamingos. Fitness of one species can be measured in the terms of its R. R means intrinsic rate of increase. Competitive exclusion. It is relatively easy to demonstrate in laboratory experiments as Gauss and other experimental ecologists did. When the resources are limited, the competitively superior species will eventually eliminate the other species. When Resources are limited. The competitively superior species will eventually eliminate the other species. For example, the Abingdon tortoise. The Abingdon tortoise is uh, the Abingdon tortoise in Galapagos Islands became extinct within a decade after goats were introduced uh, into the island. Actually, due to the greater browsing efficiency of the goats, the goats are predominated above on the Abingdon tortoise that leads to the extinction of uh, Abingdon tortoise in the Galapagos uh, Island, which we can say the example for competitive exclusion. Competitive release. Another evidence for the occurrence of competition in nature comes from what is called uh, competitive release. Competitive release occurs when one of the two competing species is removed from an area, thereby releasing the remaining species from one of the factors that limited its population size. A species whose distribution is restricted to a small geographical area because of the presence of a competitively superior species is found to expand its distributional range dramatically when the competing species is experimentally removed. Here in the case, uh, Bellanus, uh, Bellanus is a barnacle, which uh, the bigger barnacle, Bellanus is said to be the bigger barnacle here. 
Belanus. This is the Belanus, the bigger one. And uh, the smaller one is said to be Chathalamus. This is the smaller one. Here also you can see here. These are the white ones. which are said to be Chathalamus. And the bigger one is said to be Belanus. Belanus. So, the competitive release, uh, the Cornell's field experiment shows that on the rocky sea coast of Scatland, the larger and competitively superior barnacle Belanus dominates the intertidal area and excludes the smaller barnacle Chathalamus from that zone. When the dominant one is experimentally removed, the populations of the smaller one came to increase. The populations of the smaller one came to increase here whenever the, the experimental removal of the Belanus, the larger barnacle. In general, herbivores and plants appear to be more adversely affected by competition than the carnivores. All about uh, this is a competitive release. Coexistence rather than uh, exclusion. Coexistence rather than exclusion. The Gauss principle of competitive exclusion states that two closely related species competing for the same resources cannot coexist indefinitely and the competitively inferior one will be eliminated in due course of time. This may be true if resources are limiting but not otherwise. Gauss principle explains that when the competitively inferior one, the competitively inferior one will be eliminated in due course of time when uh, they find uh, the any other, the bigger one in that area. So it's very common here that uh, this may be true if resources are limiting. If the resource is limit, that bigger one will competitively fit one will exclude the competitively lesser one. But Coexistence rather than exclusion. Coexistence rather than exclusion is little different here. The coexistence rather than exclusion is little different here. With the, one example, we learn this process. More recent studies point out that the species facing competition might evolve mechanisms that promote coexistence rather than competitive exclusion. One such mechanism is resource partitioning. Resource partitioning. In a hypothetical diagram is shown here, the resource partitioning, a tree with uh, various number of twigs that uh, if two species compete for the same resource, that they could avoid competition by choosing, for instance, different times for feeding or different foraging or food collecting patterns. Mac Arthur showed that Five closely related species of warblers, the five closely related species of warblers here in a, living in a single tree, living in the same tree, are able to avoid competition and coexist due to behavioral differences in their foraging activities. So, hence we can see this process is said to be coexistence rather than exclusion. They are not fighting themselves, just uh, are living on a tree in the different areas. In the same tree, we are able to avoid competition and coexist due to behavioral differences in their foraging activities.